Hello everyone, in this video we will see how to design a simple alarm clock using Visual Basic. Before starting our program, just I will show the demo of the application. So this is our text box, here we need to enter the power. So I will give 38 minutes and I will give set, so if I give start. After reaching this time, there will be a beep sound and a pop-up message. You can see it. Just wait for it. I hope you have heard the beep sound and the pop-up message that ring. So now let's start designing our application. So this is our form. I'll change the font size in the property. Now we will place the required controls. So this label one I'm using for heading purpose. I'll change the caption as alarm clock. Now we will change the back color of this heading. And I'm changing the form background color. Now we'll place the remaining controls. Label 2 for current time. Just go to the property and erase the caption content. That is label 2, just erase it. And one more label is label 3. I'm not going to change any name of those controls we are placed on, on the screen. So just we'll use the default name. Only. So again erase this content. I'll place our text box. So this is our text box. In the property, just erase this content text to fun and we replace two commands one is for setting the alarm, one is for starting the alarm. So, in the first command property, I just change the caption or name as set. So, name also I'll give us set and for command 2 I'll give both as start now we'll place two timer so you can see here this is a timer control just double click on this you can place it wherever it is as it will not display in your output screen, you don't have to maintain some rules to place this. So we'll see the outlook of the screen. Just go to start. So this is your outlook. We'll start coding for this. So just double click on this set command. So I'll give as label 3 dot and assigning values to the caption. That is x to one dot x. Now just go back and for start we'll click and give us timer one. Your timer name is timer one enabled equals to give true. We have to do one more task in the property window of the timer. We'll just do it. Just click on this timer 1. So the name is timer 1. Let it be 1 only. In the interval, it is by default 0. You have to make it to 1000. So in the timer 2 also same like the name let it be timer 2 only. And this interval gave us 1000. So this is over. 
now we'll do it for text one just double click on it so by default the event is changed so i'm changing it to got focus so just erase it and give us got focus all right so you can go here also and you can select it here so just click on this you will get one more so this is our text box now we are setting the text one value that is text equals to the format zero zero again go back and click on the timer one just double click it so this is your timer one timer event so we'll place a if condition if my format will place a time format comma h h m m s s and close it equals to your label three dot caption then enter give a beep Word. This is a built in word. If you give the beep sound, will be message box. Just give some any message you want to display it on the pop up message. You can give. I'll give as string then. End your if condition. Similarly, we'll do it for timer two also. Just double click on this timer two control, and this is your event and the name. So give us label two dot caption equals to again we are formatting for the time. H H and then seconds just close it that's it all about the coding now we'll just start and check our application so this is a text box here only we need to place a alarm time so i'll place the nearest time this is our current time i'll place it near nearest to this time so four I'll give as 46 and 5 seconds. I'll just click set. I'll start. Just wait for the time. One second, it should be with your format. I had given only one number at the end that will not adjust it. I have to give it a second. 46 should be 222 two numbers and 40. I'll give set now. It is set in here. So we'll wait for the time. See, you can hear some big sound. And there is a pop-up message that ring. So you can give whatever you want to display here, like wake up, like whatever message you want to display it, you can do it. So this is all about this video. And thanks for watching. I hope this topic is understood and you can execute these programs. Once again, thanks. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Take care. Bye bye.